this is session 10 right. enabling database auditing audit options review audit information maintain the audit trial so it's all about audit audit is what it is verification right what has been done like uh, you are logging in you're logging out and uh, you want it to be monitored okay then you have to enable uh, auditing right so what can be audited what cannot be audited how to maintain the audit trial and uh, this is all about auditing concept something like uh, you know you want to see uh, who logged into my database at this time or who modified this table let me verify let me cross check so cross check is the right word verification is the right word uh, going back and seeing who did what is the right word for the for this term auditing right i'm sure you might have faced auditing in your job also sometimes yeah. so you know the meaning right so monitoring or auditing must be an integral part of your security procedures we need to review mandatory auditing standard database auditing value based auditing fine grain auditing that is fga sys dba and c sys oper auditing so we need to look at the auditing aspect this session is uh, not a very lengthy session but interesting session uh, to understand the concept and uh, in the lab i will be sharing a lot of examples to uh, implement it and to verify the concept so uh, this session uh, right now i don't have any demonstration for this but i'll be sharing the lab assignment where you can practice now we are used to that right you have understood that uh, the developer also you have to understood the sql plus also right now you are good to go with the command line as well as the developer as well as the enterprise manager express correct <coughs> so what are the standard auditing procedures what we need to do as a dba you need to first enable the auditing where do you do that you set that in the parameter file right second step specify the audit options what you want to audit so where do you specify that database audit options right so it run as a server process now once you enable it it run as a server process means whenever a user executes a command okay whenever a user executes a command the server process will be monitoring it why because you have specify the audit options what is to be audited in the database so when you specify the audit options it will run at a server process and whatever command user gives from here it will monitored under the your parameters under your specifications then once the audit has been happening what you can do is review you can review the audit information through audit trial and then you can generate the audit trial in an xml file or osf you know operating system specific audit trial and maintain that right audit trial this is the this is the standard database auditing configuring the audit trial first part was there in the initialization parameter as you noticed so as we discussed in the first session first part first part was this enabling it right so where to enable it how to enable it this is the point here audit trial is enabled database auditing restart the database after modifying the static initialization parameter and these are the possible values and this is a statement as a sql plus alter system set audit trial is equal to xml scope is equal to sp file you can specify xml you can specify database you can specify os you can specify none right these are the possible options fine this is how you configure the audit trial second was a uniform audit trials so audit trial is equal to database extended this is the value which you have set now dba audit trial statemented okay statement id entry id whenever the user is executing the statement it is captured as statement id and entry id right and then we monitor that dba fg audit trial and then you run that you want to display the values now you can specify you can get the values extended timestamp 
proxy session ID, global user ID, instance number, operating system, process, transaction ID, all these details you can get and then you, you will get the details DBA common audit trial. Now we need to understand uh, the options. Like for example, I want to audit the table in the database as I discussed the second part. Okay. Second part was the first was the parameter file enabling it. Second is you want to decide what you want to audit in the database. Remember the second part was in the database. So there you specify audit table for example this is one example. System privileges auditing uh, like select audit select any table. So whenever anybody is selecting any table it will be audited. Yeah. Create any trigger. So when, an, when anybody is creating any trigger that will be audited. Audit select any table by any HR, by HR, by session, right? Like audit all on HR.employee, everything on HR.employee, whatever is happening to this table, HR.employee, audit everything. Or another example, audit only update, delete, not select, not anything else. On HR.employee, by access, right? So therefore, these are the options which you specify for auditing. There are many such examples. These are just some of them. Just to get started with it. And these are the options, huge set of options. Alter any procedure, alter any table, alter database, alter profile, alter system. These are, can no, no, this, this, these are the default. These are privileges which are audited by default. Yeah, and these are the statements which are audited by default. Okay. If you want to disable them, you can disable them. This is called no audit. This is a statement. Right. Disable audit uh, options if you want. You can disable them. Right. So to disable, first of all, you can select that. Select owner, object name, username, action name, timestamp from sys db audit object. You'll see the all the list. Right. And then from the selected list, you can disable some of them, like no audit index on HR dot employees, no audit lock on this, no low, no audit. So this is how you disable whatever you want to disable. You just you have to put no whatever statement was there. You just no before that, and that's how you will disable it. Right? We can have value based editing also like a user make a change okay the trigger is fired so user changes is made but the moment the trigger is fired audit recorded audited record is created by the trigger whatever changes were made by the user they will be recorded audit record is inserted into audit trial table fine grained auditing little more detail like specific user specific record specific uh, you know issue so you can actually do a fine-grained auditing also means in-depth auditing that was a very generic approach broader level auditing like you if, if like for example employee ID 100 if anybody changes that employee ID 100 you want to monitor that you don't want to monitor the entire table so you are specifying right so monitor data access on the basis of content so select insert update delete or merge all these statements can be audited can be linked to one or more columns in a table or view right may execute a procedure is administered with dbms fga packet right so for example policy audit amp salary you created this policy we have to create it and the policies is select name salary from employee where department id is equal to 100 so this is the statement and you want to audit this kind of statement so this is how we created dbms fga add policy object schema is hr object table is employees policy name is audit employee salary Audit condition is department ID is equal to 10. Audit column is salary, commission percentage. Handler schema is secure and handler module is log employee salary. Enable is equal to true. This policy is enabled and statement type is select and update. 
all right this is a package where you just have to define what you want to audit this is called fine grained policy right so it defined the audit criteria it defined the audit action is created with a dbms fga dot edit policy now if you define if you create this policy and the policy is enabled then what will happen then you use this statement for example so select name job id so what we are selecting what we have enabled here select is true but what we have to select what we are talking about we are talking about salary and commission percentage are we can including commission uh, you know uh, commission and salary no so therefore this will not be audited clear moreover department id is 20 so it is not audited so not audited right but uh, another example select name salary oh we are selecting salary so this is to be audited but are we selecting for department id 10 yes we give to department id 10 to, to be audited so therefore this will be audited and this will be placed into secure uh, log employee salary so it will placed under this right this is fine grain auditing so audit trial dml audit statement considerations records are audited if the fga uh, predicate is satisfied and the relevant col columns are referred delete statements are audited regardless of column specified merge statements are audited with underlying insert and update and delete generated statements all right so for example update hr employee salary net salary is equal to 1000 where commission percentage is equal to 0.2 it is not audited why because none of the record involved are in department number 10 even though we included a commission percentage but problem is we also specified one condition remember department id 10 very interesting topic as far as audit is concerned the guidelines to audit which one obviously that will be audited why because that might be affecting department id 10 if it is affecting that uh, department id 10 yes if it is not affecting it will not be that th that is decision is taken when it is uh, being working when it is working wherever the affected rows are because see triggers are what they are fired on the happening of an event based on a condition so here whatever query we are writing whatever records are uh, you know changed or affected by this query when that change is happening at that time it will be uh, considered whether it is affecting the department id 10 or not look at in this statement we are nowhere men we are nowhere mentioning department id 10 wherever commission percentage is 0.2 if the row if a being affected is from the department id 10 yes then it will be affected then it will be audited because i uh, i just left that because i don't know whether that will be affected or not this is an example just an example to explain the concept uh, to audit all rows use null audit condition to audit all columns use a null audit column policy name must be unique the audited table or view must already exist when you create the policy the audit condition syntax is invalid on ora2812 error is raised when the audit objects are accessed if the audit column does not exist in the table no rows are audited you specify the column but the column does not exist so naturally it will not be audited if the event handler does not exist no error is returned and the audit record is still created all right these are some of the guidelines sys db auditing users with sys dba and or sys oper privileges can connect when the database is closed audit trial must be stored outside the database in that case naturally if the database is not there if the database is closed still sys db can connect to the database right when the database is closed because you know that we uh, the sys db himself open the database you remember you have to specify the com command like uh, uh, alter database database name open that means they are connected to the database when the database is closed so therefore you cannot store these audit trials into the database so you must store them outside the database connections to sys dba or sys oper all always edited you can enable additional auditing of sys dba or sys oper actions with audit sys operations 
you can control the audit trial with audit file destination where the uh, location where this audit trial will be stored so maintaining this audit trial is important where you are going to put the records right audit trial should be maintained with the following best practice guidelines review and store old records prevent storage problems avoid loss of records so you need to put them into safe location that's all for this session thank you